posture. E split. All right, again, pushing backwards, my knee comes up. All right now, he's stripping out away from me. You see? He's trying to work on my arm, trying to pull me back in. He's trying to get his knee underneath here. That's why it's so important for me to keep my elbow inside so that he can't get that in there. Now, if he's tries to elbow over, or knee over, sorry, I can start working on this other foot and taking him away, right? But if I have a weak elbow there and he starts getting that knee in, he's gonna be kicking his legs, he's gonna be off balancing me, push and pull and all kinds of stuff I don't wanna have to deal with, especially getting to hold my knee, right? So I gotta keep that elbow in. All right, I shoot my underhook, I'm gonna step over that outside leg, grab the elbow, head's on the ground, so I pin him flat, slide through. Sorry about your, that's okay. All right, so, whoop, kick him in the face, break him open, there. Now he shrimps inside, which you'll get for guys that like a scissor sweep, because I have no base on the outside. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need to make one. So my knee, instead of going across his hip, is gonna go the opposite way, out. Right? I'm not kneeling on his leg. I'm kneeling over his leg. I'm creating a staple to hold him down. I need to make sure I'm above the knee. All right? Can I can actually see what I'm talking about. Wow. Oh. Here. <laughs> knee to the ground. All right? Arm on that side is going to underhook his head. Underhook <laughs> his arm. And I get my super hole. Okay? If you don't feel comfortable, this is where I want you to go. I want you to start putting pressure on his head. All right, taking him backwards, stretching him out, okay? Ideally, I'm gonna underhook the head, now my other arm is free to control his pants. And I'm gonna fall out, okay? Switch to his other leg, I can pull my leg out. And I end in side control, all right? Staple pass. My knee's up, he shrimps inside like he's gonna, uh, like he's gonna try to scissor sweep me, fine. I get my knee on the ground. He might put his knee in front here, that's fine. Okay, that's why I was holding onto his pants. Remember? I swear, that's why I was doing it. <laughs> right, now my arm can cross his head. Fall out, don't take that staple out. I can either punch the ground, not him, <clears throat> but he's not wearing a cup, right? Or I can control his <laughs> pants and turn his hips away. And I go in there. Right, Bryce, this is what I was talking about with your back leg. Okay? When I'm in side control, I never want that back leg straight. Even if it's giving me lots of pressure, John's going to then regard me. No, I'm in half guard, now I have to pass you. If I'm going to drop the leg back, I drop the top one. I can still create good pressure, right? And he can't regard me nearly as easily. This makes me even heavier than I normally. Cool? Staple pass. Okay, so person on the bottom, you're shrimping inside the frame of their body instead of outside. What's up? If that arm gets in the way on that side, does it matter? Like if it gets in between your knee. Here? Sure, yeah. Like, like here? It, yeah. Is that what you mean? Sure. There, or if you knee over the top of it. Like here? Yeah. As long as I got his leg trapped, not really. Okay. In fact, this this is better for me. It's one less weapon he has to deal with. Okay. One of my weapons is taking care of two of his. Right? But I'm trying to actually scoop his head. I'm not just trying to wham, right? Not trying to knock him out. I'm not trying to squish his head down. I want to turn him away. Right? The more pressure I have going that way, the harder it's going to be for him to try to try to bridge into me or kick me off. This old man's spine is being torqued right now, I realize. It doesn't look like a lot of pressure, and I'm not driving very hard. Right? My chest is just to his chest. I don't even have an underhook yet. I'm just trying to work my way around. And yes? You back step like that so that you can maintain the staple and you don't give up any control. Yeah, because if I try to slide through and I leave that back leg behind, I'm going to be stuck in half guard. I'll catch it. Yep, so I'm going to keep that staple, right? Let it fall off. I'm going to control this hip, whether it's inside leg, outside leg, or just put my hand on the ground so it's in his way. So he can't regard me as I switch my hips back. Question. Anything else? All right, play with it. One, two, three.